Hello Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng aralin sa mathematics. We've seen a variety of geome geometric figures like what you've seen in our screen before. Are you particular to these figures? Topic is about illustrating polygons, specifically with convexity, angles, and side. And let's start knowing about this. Okay, let's start with the definition. So we are particular that a polygon is a simple closed curve made of only of segments like this. So ang mga figures na yan ay halimbawa ng polygon. So mayroon tayong tinatawag na segment. At ito yung mga segment na yan. So, we have that. Same with the this figure and with the other figure. Another thing, when we talk of a polygon is a polygon side is one of the segment that define the polygons. So, yung binabanggit natin segment kanina, yan din yung tinatawag na polygon side. So, ito yan. Ito yung mga side ng polygon na ating pinag-uusapan. So, we have that as the side of that polygon. Another thing is the vertex. A vertex is the point at which the polygon's side ends. So, kung ito ang ating side ng polygon, so, ito yon, ito yon, ito yon. So, ito yung kanilang end point. So, itong segment na to, o yung side na to, ito yung end point, ito yung end point. So, same with this. Kung ito yung segment, ito yung end point, ito yung end point. At yung mga end point na yon ay tinatawag na vertex. So, katulad din ito, kung ito yung segment, ito yung vertices. So, same with this and with the other figure here. Another thing na mayroon sa polygon is angle of a polygon which consists of two properties. One of the properties is that its vertex is a polygon vertex. Ibig sabihin, kung ito yung angle na pinag-uusapan natin, ito rin yung vertex niya at ito rin ay vertex ng ating polygon. Same with this, kung ito yung angle na pinag-uusapan, ito yung vertex ng angle at yung vertex na yan ay vertex din ng polygon. Same with the other figure, kung ito yung angle na pinag-uusapan natin, ito yung vertex ng angle at ito din ay vertex ng polygon. And another property is that each side of the angle contains a polygon side. Siyempre, kung ito yung angle na pinag-uusapan, side din siya ng polygon. Same with this figure and with this figure. Let us try to continue. So, let us try to work on with this. So, since we are talking of a polygon, let's work on with this. That polygon comes from Greek words. That's poly means many and gon means angle. Ibig sabihin, when we talk of polygon, it is many angles. Ito yun, many angles. So, let's try to work on with that. Let us consider that we are going to illustrate this figure. So, that figure composed of this point, point A, point B, point C, point D, point E. At we call that polygon as polygon A, B, C, D, E. So, lahat ng letter na mayroon dun sa kanyang vertices ay gagamitin natin name ng polygon. Let us try to see. Let us consider we are going to name the angle. So, one of the angle is angle A. So, using one capital letter, yung vertex na lang yung ginamit natin. Since this is the angle and the vertex is A, we have angle A. Pwede ring angle E, A, B. But we are using uh, one capital letter. Then we have angle B. Heto naman yon angle B. So, we use the vertex. We have angle C. Heto naman yon Again, we use the vertex. Same with angle D. And angle E. 
Okay, so yan yung pangalan ng angle sa polygon A, B, C, D, E. How about the vertices? Sabi natin, ang vertices ay end point ng segment o end points ng side ng ating polygon. Ito yung mga end point. Ito din, ito din, ito din, ito din. That means to say, yun yung ating vertices. Point A, point B, point C, point D, and point E. How about the sides? So, kapag pinag-uusapan natin ng side, yun din yung segment. So, pinapangalanan yan gamit ang dalawang end point. So, ang end point dito ay A, dito naman ay B. So, we have segment AB. Dito naman, B at C, we have segment BC. We have C to D, we have segment CD. D to E, we have segment D, and E to A, we have segment EA. So, yan yung mga bahagi na dapat we are particular kapag pinag-uusapan natin ang polygon. Let us have another one. How about this one? Let us try to know whether you are particular with the definition of the polygon na define na natin siya na it's a close na may segment. Okay, so let's have this one. Let us consider that we're having these figures. So let's check the first figure. Dito tayo sa unang figure. Let us consider that we have the following figures. So, alamin natin kung yan ay polygon or not. So, let's start with the first figure. So, may segment. Ito yung segment niya. Close din siya. Hence, that's a polygon. How about the second figure? Is this a polygon or not? So, what's your answer? What do you think? So, that's a polygon. So, segment pa rin yan. Connected pa rin yung kanyang mga segment. Therefore, we call that as polygon. How about this one? Okay, not polygon. So, even though this is a segment, and the other one is segment, but when you look at the other one, this one, so hindi siya segment. Hence, it's not a polygon. How about this one? Answer is, not polygon. So, again, segment ito, but when you look at this one, so may curve na dito sa part na to, so dito rin, so ibig sabihin, not polygon. How about this one? Okay, obviously, it's not a polygon, wala, wala dyan segment. Then with the last one, so we have four segments here. One, two, three, four, at connected naman siya. So therefore, that is what we call a polygon. Siyempre, may mga angles din yan. May vertex din. Siyempre, mayroon din tayong side. So that's about polygon again. And when we talk of polygon, mayroon tayong tinatawag na classification of polygon in terms of sides and angles. And that is what we call an equilateral polygon. So, an equilateral polygon is a polygon whose sides are equal. From the word equilateral, it means to say equal. So, let's have this one. So, square ito. So, we are particular with this figure. Square ito. Hence, the sides are equal. So, ibig sabihin, itong side na to, itong side na to, itong side na to, at itong side na to, pare-parehas ng Sukat. So, if that's the case, maybe ang mga side ng figure ay, ay equal. So, we call that as equilateral polygon. Another one, an equiangular polygon. So, an equiangular polygon is a polygon whose angles are equal. So, kung kanina sa equilateral side, dito naman angle ang titignan. Ito rin yung gawin natin example. Itong square na to, ito yung angles. At alam naman natin na kapag pinag-uusapan ng angles ng square, that is 90 degrees. Kung mapapansin natin, 90 to, 90 to, 90 to, 90 to. Hence, dahil equal ang mga angles, so yung sample na yan ay equiangular polygon. Again, kapag pare-parehas ang sukat ng angles, that is equiangular polygon. Pag may isang hindi ka parehas ng sukat, we will not consider that. Kapag may dalawang hindi parehas ng sukat, we will not consider that. How about a regular polygon? So, a regular polygon is a polygon that is both equilateral and equiangular. Katulad nito, sabi natin ito ay equilateral because the sides are equal. Then, equiangular kasi ang angles ay equals din. Hence, itong example na to ay regular polygon din. So, this is an equilateral polygon. At the same time, this is also equiangular polygon. And at the same time, this is a regular polygon. So this time, as we continue, mag-concentrate tayo sa regular 
polygon. So, kung may regular polygon, syempre, mayroon din tayong tinatawag na irregular polygon. But let's concentrate with a regular polygon. A regular polygon is one that has all of its side of equal length and all of its angle of equal measurement. Katulad nung binanggit natin kanina, siya ay equilateral kasi equal length ng side at equiangular kasi parehas din ang sukat ng kanyang mga angles. So, kung congruent ang side at ang interior angle, so yun ang regular polygon. For instance, we have this So, ito ay tatawagin natin regular polygon kapag itong side na to at itong side na to at itong side na to ay equals. At kapag itong angle na to at itong angle na to at ito ay parehas lang ng sukat. So, we call that as regular polygon. Okay? Let's have another one. So, sabi ko kung may regular, may irregular polygon. An irregular polygon is one that has all of its side of unequal length and all of its angle of unequal measure. Tulad nito. So, kung mayroon ako ditong figure na ganito, so ito alam na natin na 90 degrees yan. So, ito naman magkaiba ng sukat. So, pasok na tayo dun sa unequal measure of an angle. So, yung side nito at yung side na ito at yung side na to ay hindi rin pare-parehas ng sukat. So, yun din ang tatawagin nating irregular polygon. Okay na? So, yan lang yung ilan sa mga halimbawa. And let's continue. This time, let us concentrate with an example of regular polygon. So, yan. Kanina na i-present na natin yan. So, ang tawag doon ay equilateral triangle. Kaya hindi ko mabigay kanina yung tawag. Basta sabi ko lang figure kasi dito natin ay percent At tinatawag din yung equiangular triangle. Kasi nga, same measure ang side, same measure din ang angles. Okay, so, 3 equal side and 3 equal interior angles. By the way, kapag pinag-uusapan natin ang regular polygon na triangle so ang kanyang interior angle ay 60 degrees so kaya ito, 60 yan 60 yan, 60 yan, total 180 degrees ok, let's have another one if we have this regular polygon which is square so ibig sabihin same ang sukat ng side yan lahat. So, sabi ko nga, ang tawag dyan ay square. Siyempre, that's a quadrilateral, pero we are talking of square na four-sided. Pero nagko-concentrate tayo sa square kasi nga we are talking of regular polygon. So, yan naman, four equal sides. Ito yun. At four equal interior angles, which is 90 degrees. Ito yun. Ito yun. Tsaka ito. So, dahil pare-parehas yan, We call that as regular polygon, which is a square. Another one, consider this one. Ang tawag yan pentagon. Kapag lima ang side ng polygon, one, two, three, four, five. We call that as pentagon. So, mayroon tayong five equal sides. Yato yon, one, two, three, four, five. Then five equal interior angles, which is one hundred eight degrees. So, ibig sabihin. 108 degrees ito, 108 degrees din ito, ito din, ito din, at saka ito din. And we call that as pentagon. Another, we have this. So, ang tawag dyan, hexagon. Anim naman yung side. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, sa so regular hexagon, Meron naman tayong 6 equal sides. Ito yun. Nabanggit na natin 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. At 6 equal interior angles which is 120 degrees. 120 ito, 120 yan. Ito din. Ito din. At ito din. So, we have 6 equal interior angles. So, halimbawa uli yan ang regular polygon and that is regular hexagon. Let's have another one. We have this one. We call that as heptagon. Bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 sides. So, ibig sabihin, 7 equal sides. And 7 equal interior angles, which is 128.57 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, dapat itong mga angles na to, 
28.57 degrees. Then the next one is octagon. So mayroon naman tayong 8 equal sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just consider na equal yung mga side. Then 8 equal interior angles which is 135 degrees. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, kung may regular polygons, tayo na samples, magkaroon din tayo ng irregular polygon. Tulad nito. So, na-present na rin natin yan kanina. Ang tawag dyan ay right triangle. So, obviously, 90 degrees ito. Ito naman ay um, unequal din. So, three unequal sides. Itong mga side nito, hindi pare-pares na sukat. And three unequal interior angles. Ito yon Magkakaiba yan ng sukat. Let's have another one. So, ang tawag yan, quadrilateral. Four-sided polygon is what we call a quadrilateral. So, mayroon naman tayong four unequal sides. Ito yon Ito, magkakaiba yan ng sukat. Even though, parehas ito, but again, ito ay magkaiba. So, unequal, four unequal interior angles. Ito naman yung interior angles na magkakaiba rin ng magiging sukat. Another one, we have this. A regular pentagon. Yung mga nauna kasi kanina, that's a regular pentagon. Five unequal sides and five unequal interior angles. So, ito yon One, two, three, four, five. Papansin mo, iba-iba talaga yung sukat ng side. At ito naman yung angles na iba-iba rin ang sukat. Let's have the next. A regular hexagon. So, hexagon yan kasi animang side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 6 unequal sides. And 6, 6 unequal sides and 6 unequal interior angles. So, ito yun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Magkakaiba ng sukat. At ito naman yung kanyang angles. So, ito, ito. Parehas lang yan ang sukat. But again, itong isang ito ay iba ang so, let's check it. Itong isang ito, iba yung magiging sukat ng interior angles. Angle na yun. So, let's have the next one. We have this irregular heptagon. So, seven-sided tayo. So, seven unequal sides and seven unequal interior angles. So, ito yung kanyang mga side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven unequal. At ito naman yung kanyang mga angles. Ito, iba na agad ang sukat dito. Ayan, dito naman yung angles. Ito dito. Tapos ito doon. Ito, okay lang yan. Parehas ng sukat. Pero again, the rest, hindi naman pare-parehas lahat ng sukat ng angles. And the next is irregular octagon. So, 8 naman yung pinag-uusapan. So, we have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, unequal angles, ito yon one. We have two here. We have another angle here. Siyempre, ito din. Tapos ito. Tapos itong angle na to. Then this one. And the other angles. So, unequal pa rin siya. And we call that as irregular polygon. So, clear tayo na kapag regular, equal angles, equal side. Kapag irregular, unequal sides and unequal Angles. So, let's continue. So, it is also important that we will be looking with the convex polygon and the concave polygon. So, kapag pinag-uusapan natin ang convex polygon, if each of the interior angles of a polygon is less than 180 degrees, then it is called convex polygon. Ibig sabihin, kapag may polygon, lahat ng angles niya ay less than 180 degrees, then we call that as convex polygon. At kapag naman ang measure ng angle natin ay more than 180 degrees, at least one, so ang ibig sabihin yun naman yung concave polygon. Let's see this one. So alin sa dalawa ang convex at alin ang concave? So check natin, ito yung convex polygon. So lahat ng angles niya, ito yung angles niya, ito, ito, at ito lahat yan ay less than 180 degrees. But while the other one, ito yung angles, less than yan ng 180, less than din ito. Less than din ito. Less than din ito. Less than din ito. Pero may isa na 
greater than 180 degrees. So, alam naman natin, pag in-extend natin ito, ayan yung 180 degrees. So, na greater than siya. So, okay na yan. Kung dito naman tayo mag-extend, ito naman yung 180 degrees. Ito naman yung pang sobra sa 180 degrees. Kaya, more than 180 degrees. At yan ang concave polygon. So, let's see. Let's see the following figures. So, name natin. Dito tayo sa una. Anong in-name nyo dito? Kung siya ay convex polygon. Ayan na. Convex polygon. So, ang mga angles niya ay ayan. So, kung mapapansin natin, ang mga angles niya ay less than 180 degrees. So, check natin. Ha? Ayan. Less than yan. Less than din ito. Less than din ito. Less than din ito. Let's have the other one. Concave polygon. So, concave, gawa nitong angle na to. Ayan. Less, uh, greater than 180. Pag in-extend, ayan na. Greater than 180 degrees na yan. About this one. Okay, convex. So, lahat ng angles niya. Ito yan. Ito. The other one. The other one. So, ito naman ay concave polygon. So, ito naman yung part na one, greater than 180 degrees. At saka itong kabilang side. Basta may isa or more than one na greater than 180 degrees ang angles, then concave na yan. This one. Let's check. O, ito. Itong angle na to. Itong angle na to. Same as with this angle. And the other one. So, lahat yan ay greater than 180 degrees. Therefore, this is concave polygon. And the next one. So, kung mapapansin mo lahat ng angles niya, wala talaga siyang greater than 180 degrees. So, lahat yan ay less than 180 degrees. And we call that as convex polygon. Dito rin, so wala uling angles na greater than 180 degrees. Therefore, this is a convex polygon. Pero dito, eto naman, Meron tayong greater than 180 degrees. Therefore, that is a concave polygon. So na, you are already particular with the polygon. Siyempre, alamin na natin ang classification of polygons. Okay, so there are classification of polygons according to the number of sides. Una, we have that. So, three sides, ang tawag, triangle. Or tinatawag din yung trigon. Next, we have four sides quadrilateral, or we also call that as tetragon. Then we have this one. Ilang side mayroon? Okay, good. That's five. So, ang tawag doon, pentagon. How about this one? Okay, six sides. So, ang tawag doon ay hexagon. Ito naman, seven-sided polygon, and that's we, that is called heptagon. The next one ay eight-sided and we call that as octagon, same, ang, ang kasunod ay 9. And we call that as nonagon. Then, sided is decagon. Okay? So, the rest, madami pa rin part or marami pa rin tayong classification of uh, polygon according to its side. At yan ang mga iyon. So, at the last, kung mapapansin nyo, pag n, ang number ng side, pag n, yan yung uh, extended pa. So, we call that as n con. Yan ang mga classification ng polygon pero marami pa yan. Iba pwede rin may 21 side, 22, 23 and so on and so forth. And that's all. Kamato class. God bless us.